What is up, Cinepals? Welcome back. I'm Achara Kirk, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bro? What up? And today we have a new trailer for John Wick Chapter 4. This is the final trailer, you guys. John Wick Chapter 4, starring Keanu Reeves, we knew that, Donnie Yen, amazing, Bill Skarsgård, and a whole host of other people, including Lawrence Fishburne, Hiroyuki Sanada, Shamir Anderson, Lance Riddick, Rina Sawayama, Scott Adkins, and Ian McShane. I'm so excited. I haven't actually seen the other trailer to this, so... I am so looking forward to this. Before we get into it, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video if you are having a good time. Let's get into it. This hit goes out to you, Mr. Wick. I love the lighting. Oh, lady. yeah. 42 regular, wasn't it? Yeah. Look at the Matrix reunion. So it begins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Potty time. Uh, oh! Into single combat. If you win, you'll have your freedom. Ah! I'm obsessed. So chaotic. What are they wearing? <gasps> yes! yes! Donnie Peace is in death. Oh my god, we got horses. We're too? going worldwide. Yeah. Not really. <gasps> oh my god. Doggy! Got it. I was gonna be like, it's too early to see a dog getting shot. Oh, no. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. That Imagine was... having beef with like international people. I feel like we were in four different countries. Yeah, that's not surprising. <laughs> I, I thought like I heard that the runtime for this movie was just released and it's like two hours and 45 minutes or something like that. That's wild. The only reason I think that it is okay is because people a ride for keanu reeves like no other facts b john wick has done enough work like, i feel like john wick 3 solidified that people are like we just want john wick yeah we don't really care like give us four hour john wick that's cool we just want to see john wick yeah and i get that i get that my one concern is that for me sometimes like when i, I watch something that is just so action heavy after about two hours i'm kind of like i am done like yeah. i can't i can't take any more of this like brutality and this action it, it's just a lot but if the story is good if i'm like emotionally invested in it i'm i'm there for the ride i'm like that's cool so you know we'll see i might not be the target audience for this yeah. though so you know in thor ragnarok when he's with jeff goldblum's character uh -huh. and they he did, he's like screaming and doesn't realize he's through a simulator uh-huh is that how you feel when you're watching action <laughs> <laughs> like, ah! That's too much. It's too much. Uh, I need to watch all the John Wicks. I admittedly saw John Wick 3 because everyone was gassing it up and uh -huh. haven't seen John Wick 1 or 2. Oh my God, you guys. Should we do a reaction to John Wick 1, 2 and may as well do 3? Let us know because it's been a long time since I've watched those films as well. But they're, they're super fun. Definitely they've upped the ante yeah. with 4. Like The reason why I love John Wick so much is because they are action films made by people who know action for people who love action. They really know how to shoot it and, and mm -hmm. each one just subsequently just builds on the last one and they're like, okay, well, how much crazier can we make this? And they're like, yes. Yes. How much do you want? Yes. Give it to us. Like the the scene where the guy was just, he was being plowed into by that car and the way that they showed him just flip up and come down. I mean, I know we've seen that a lot in other movies, but I don't know. There's something about that that just felt so much more visceral. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just in the trailer. I, I love the way it was shot. Yeah. Even from the first shots, like the color scheme that they choose yeah. for these films are so like swanky and sexy but also dark and grungy yeah, like 
and moody. I, yeah, I like love. Uh, Keanu is a moody king. Like he. Yeah. Re- <laughs> and then my favorite two scenes in this trailer is one we got him fighting in what looks like the rain, but I think it's yeah. from like a fire. It's probably something like that. Yeah, yeah. Going on, love a rain fight scene. Yes. And the second was when he's like driving like Cruella Deville, and the wind's blowing his beautiful <laughs> locks back. I'm like, yes. Drive with viciousness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that scene, I liked that as well. The one with the one with the rain, because it looked like it was kind of like a party fight scene. Because they've done it before in chapter two, where they had a scene in a subway mm. and there was a shootout. I know you haven't seen it. It's fine. You'll still enjoy it. And that was wild. But here they're in another public arena, it seems, unless all the people know what's going on. And and he's like going through and fighting. And it's so cool to just see it wide like that and see him just go through the people doing his thing. And then the rain. It kind of reminds me of one of my favorite scenes in Blade. I don't know if you've watched that movie, mm-hmm. but the blood rave when oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the blood comes down and then and they're just there. But you know, this isn't blood. It's just water. But it looks so cool the way he just kind of goes through it and it's like yeah yeah Yeah. do you think that just reminded me this is random but do you think wednesday got inspired by that you know the dance scene with the they put like fake blood through the sprinklers i thought that was more of an homage to carrie maybe oh yeah yeah you're right yeah yeah but anyways (laughs) i love like the fact that like we get donnie yen with a freaking katana i love that we have oh rena sawayama is a british artist i love her like she's a japanese queen and i think this is her first acting role so it was like cool this year she did the stabbing in the back like that oh that was her that was that was so badass just like the whole thing where she's just like if i had to be an assassin it would look something like that. Yeah, you just climb on people and just yeah, stab just like, them in the just back. Just like, no <laughs> finesse, just like scrappy gets it done. Just climb me like a tree. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you have to do, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you got to use what you have yeah. in, in that moment, because especially as a as a woman, a yeah. female. You just got to get it done. Right. And I like that kind of scrappiness. Yeah. I was wondering, though, with the dog at the end, because was it in number three? three when Halle Berry was there and she had some trained dogs I'm like is this a surprise is Halle Berry gonna be there too oh that would be amazing but she's not in they didn't put her name but it could be like a secret yeah you know I don't feel like Halle Berry I don't know I would like Halle Berry in anything that would be great that would be great but we got a dog it's like it's coming back around you know it all started because those guys took his dog killed his wife's dog and then now He's got a new dog and the dog looks so cute. Yeah, I know, but I was like, I can't watch a dog die. I can't. No. They did it in the first movie, right? It's like the yeah. whole plot. No. I don't want to see it. It's like when the, you watch those Western movies and they shoot the horses. I'm like, shoot the guys, not the horses. Leave the horses. Yeah, leave the horses Leave alone. the dogs. We got horses too. Yeah. That was pretty badass. Like you said, they're definitely going around to a lot of different locations, which is cool. It does make me worried a little bit because sometimes, yeah, when when movies kind of focus on going around to different locations, it's a little bit like, oh, is this is this going to work? Because sometimes it doesn't. Or it just looks cool. It, yeah. yeah, it's just for the visual. So the shots in Paris, they were like in front of the Arc de Triomphe in the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. I wonder how they shot that, if like they were really shooting on location or not. It could just be movie magic. Yeah, it could be, you but know? it looked pretty real. It looked, it looked really really nice i mean i love the aesthetics like you said looking forward to this you guys let us know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below how pumped are you for this movie the appropriate answer is yes just letting you know it's keanu it's keanu (laughs) so yeah let us know in the comments below what you thought and we'll catch you next time i'm achara kirk this is ciao